On the screen now you can see an MXQ box loading KitKat firmware for the first time. Now I've changed this and I've changed the boot logo as well as the animation. Normally it would be MXQ followed by an MBOX animation. Now I've changed these using something called Amlogic Customization Tool. This video is going to give you a brief introduction to using Amlogic Customization Tool such as changing the boot logo and the animation and getting rid of bloatware. Anyway, my name is Matthew and you're watching another tutorial by the MXQ Project. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download Amlogic Customization Tool and install it on your Windows PC. Now once you've done that, I don't think I need to show you how to do that, but once you've done that, load it up and it will actually be in Chinese, it will look like something like this. So you'll just need to go up to here, just a bit like Amlogic Burning Tool actually, and just change it to this one here, and it just changes it to English. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to load up some image firmware from wherever you want to change it. So this will work up to Marshmallow. It won't work with Nougat files unfortunately. So KitKat, Lollipop and Marshmallow files will be absolutely fine. And of course you need those image files that you would normally use with USB burning tool. Because this is going to unpack them for us. So what we do is we need to click on load. And then just tick all these boxes. Don't worry too much about them for now, just tick them all because it just gives you access to pretty much all the files within that image file it's going to unpack. And click OK and then go to your desktop or wherever you've stored these image files at and then select it. So I'm just going to start off with something very basic, it's very old MXQ set of 5 KitKat firmware and it's just going to make things easier for me to show you how to do it. If you've got Lollipop firmware it's just exactly the same process. So click on that, click open, and what's going to happen is it's going to start unpacking it. It might take a while to actually do that, so I'll come back once it's done. So our firmware image files are loaded up. Now let's dive straight in and show you how to change this boot logo. Classic MXQ, let's change it to our MXQ project logo, just like that. Just click open, it'll ask you to confirm, just click yes, and then we can change the animation as well from that mbox classic mbox sort of animation and we're going to put in our own pre-prepared one so just click open again and then choose your animation file if you'd like to actually learn how to create an animation file then just make a comment comment section below and i'll probably get around to putting a video together to show you now that's the actual logo all loaded up animation sorry and the animation is working just fine and then we can move over to the default settings we can change the language we can change the time zone it's all defaulted to whatever you want it to be normally firmware comes defaulted to chinese so we can change it just saves us a little bit of time after loading it onto our device there is a few different things as well some of these firmware preset to certain bookmarks in the browser you can delete all those if you want to mine hasn't got any at the moment there's a few different things there's this system apk you don't need to touch these basically because they're system apps don't touch those we can go into this advanced settings and click system and we can get rid of bloatware now this is in the pre-installed folder go into there and you can delete all the apps that you don't want the system to install once it's loaded onto your hardware so I'm just going to get rid of most of them, just to leave YouTube behind. And that's that. Now the final thing we need to do is just click pack. Basically that's going to, just going to pack the image file back into an image file and then you can go onto USB burning tool and install it onto your Amlogic device. So that pretty much concludes this video. It's been a very brief introduction to Amlogic Customization Tool. If you'd like to see more, then just please tell me in the comment section below. And of course, if you'd like to see that boot animation video, then please again, get in touch in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial has helped you in any, in any way. And yeah, my name is Matthew, and you've been watching another tutorial by the MSU Project. Don't forget to visit our website, msqproject.com, Facebook, as well as our Twitter, at msqproject. Thanks for watching guys and we shall see you very very soon.